Hey everyone, bought this bunk bed set we're setting up here in this kid's room. And instead of you watching me unbox this, which would be really boring, and also instead of you watching me starting to piece this together, which would also be pretty boring, I wanted to get most of the structure together and then walk through some of the things I've learned along the way to help you be able to make this easier. Now, was it difficult? No, it's actually very straightforward and pretty easy to be able to make it all come together. You do have to pay attention to some of the holes that are on some of the pieces, like on this lower piece down here. You wanna make sure that you're lining up the holes on the braces properly uh, so that uh, they're lining up properly. I did have to remove the brace over here to be able to flip it around so that the hole was in the proper position to be able to get this bottom beam across which then also they have the warning up here. You wanna make sure that you're paying attention in the instruction booklet. So it was actually really helpful for me to be able to look a few pages ahead so that I could see how the bed was supposed to be put together before I went through and started putting all of these pieces together off of the individual instruction sheet. I found that really helpful. I have the main part of the structure here together. Now it's gonna be all of the slots that go on here to be able to make sure that it provides the rigid structure for the mattresses to go on. Couple things that would really help here. I'm here at this house and I don't have my normal bigger tool chest with me that's at another house. Um, so I wish that I had my four millimeter uh, hex set with me um, on a ratchet or if I had my drill attachment as well, that would speed up the process here. Make sure that you're putting it on a low impact setting if you're using the impact drill so that you're not over torquing it. Um, but if I did that, it would just make these things go significantly easier. All of the different bolts here have a four millimeter hex head. So definitely whether you have a ratchet one or whether you can do it on an impact drill, that would speed up the process here. Otherwise, really straightforward, pretty easy. I'm gonna start putting together the slats on here. That might be the most challenging part just because there's a lot of little pieces. So I'm gonna go through, I'll start the video and show you all those different processes, but wanted to get the main structure up here before I told you how this all was coming together so that it's a lot more interesting and a lot more informative. So takeaways here, really straightforward, real easy to be able to put together four millimeter socket or a four millimeter attachment on a impact drill would speed up the process. And that's a four millimeter uh, hex head. So just make sure that you're doing that. But the pieces, everything else, real easy. The tool that it came with, the hex tool, it works okay, uh, but it's just not as strong as what a, a store-bought or industrial one that you might have in your own toolkit would be. So definitely something to think about. But you did not need to do that. I did this all with the little hand tool that came with the kit. So clearly it came together just fine and is working, but speed up the process, use your own if you have it. All right, let's go through. We're gonna put all the slats on here and then I'll follow up, let you know how it all came together and the ease of it, if indeed I found any troubles or if everything truly did go as smooth as I think it will. All right, everyone. Got some really good progress with the slats on the bed here. Started putting the bottom ones in. Along the process of putting both of them in here, I did learn a couple things. Here on the bottom slats, before you go through and put the securing tabs in there, you wanna make sure that you're leaving the outside bed frame a little bit loose. I had everything all tightened up as the instructions showed, but actually it's beneficial to leave them loose. Right here, let's go in and see what that looks like. Okay, here you can see getting the slats locked in. This kit came with these little locks that are used to be able to secure so that these can't pull out. But what I found was putting in these sides on all the corners and maybe even the second one in, it was being restricted from being able to go in because when I tighten these down, it wasn't adjusted properly to be able to allow this to sit in place. Before you tighten them up, I highly recommend that you leave them loose so that the bed frame can actually move a little bit, which then allows the slats here to be able to lock into their proper place. You can secure them with the tabs that come with the kit. And then after you're done with that, then you can go back through and tighten these up. That's gonna make it significantly easier for you to lay everything out because I had to go through and loosen everything up 
because I had already tightened them down. So leaving them just a little loose so that you have a little bit of play in there will allow the slats to fall in place properly. You can secure them down with the tabs and then it'll make it a lot easier. All right, the bed is really coming together now. I feel like I am 99% done. The last little bit is putting on these connectors. What they do is they help keep the bed connectors from shaking back and forth and creating a lot of noise. So these are really ideal. I measured based on the instructions, being able to put these little connecting inserts on. So these slide on. One thing I found in doing this is it might be nice to wear gloves. There was a lot of pushing down here and some vibrations in the gloves, I think will really help keep your thumbs and your fingers uh, feeling, from, uh, feeling less fatigued. So definitely uh, you can take that into uh, consideration, but really easy to be able to put these things on here. They push down snap and then you can snap them on there. So we'll go through and you alternate where they go to be able to snap in place there. So provides a really, really strong fit on there. Being that they're plastic, they do have some give, but it really does add a lot of rigidity to this bed to be able to make sure that it doesn't have quite as much rattling uh, when somebody's sleeping in it. All right, all the connectors are now on. You can see how they go on there. Real easy to make that happen. Both levels have those done there. Staircases on. The protective rails are on. Everything is really looking good. This bed was really nice and easy to be able to put together. I was really impressed with the kit. It even came with extra parts as well, which is a really nice feature to be able to have in case anything breaks uh, along the way. It even came with some extra connectors there. So just nice to be able to have those, uh, you know, keep them with the, the bed for long-term use in case any of these parts break especially plastic ones, um, you know, but otherwise everything came together. Even the stairs here, they came with lock nuts. So that makes it really nice and easy to make sure that it's a nice secure fit, but excited to be able to get this into use. Kids are going to love it.